Hello, hello, and welcome back to Aquanauts. And let me tell you, if the if the behind the scenes of getting this going is uh, anything to go by, <laughs> whoa, we're, we're not in good luck tonight. Uh, this is a new recording session where we're either going to beat Aquanauts or die trying. <laughs> and uh, this stream starting was a lot, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of issues getting the stream going today. So let's see how this goes. I don't even remember what I was doing or okay yeah I immediately remember how to play again oh right oh Jesus please no well let's just restart this mission all right now we're going at this with a, a fresh mind maybe we'll be in better luck than we were last time Jesus how much health do I have again oh hang on my water bottle is sitting blocking my view of my own health. Alright. Okay. I'm gonna be a little sloppy at first. Oh! Oh no! I dragged the window. Okay. That, that looks sensitive again. Yes. That's why I want it. I, I really hope I can beat this. Yeah, so there's two ways this episode's gonna go. Either we're going to finish this mission and move on to the final one and maybe even beat things, but I doubt it. Or... Or I'm gonna do this mission for 30 minutes and just keep dying over and over, and then we're gonna end and do our rating. T take your bets on what you think is gonna happen, given how this has started. Jesus, I am not doing good at this. I remember I was trying to do this pacifistically to the point where I don't even remember how you attack again. God damn it. <laughs> this is going well. Everything keeps hurting me. I'm just a poor little submarine. Please don't kill me, fishies. I don't even know where I'm going, but I assume this is the right direction. Jesus. I'm good at video games. Okay. Oh my god, I'm still being followed by a squid baby? What the fuck? Oh, it's Jesus! It was still following me! Hang on. No, I got stuck on the corner! Oh, I hit quit, didn't I? Oh no, I did hit try again, good. Come on. Oh shit, okay, I'm, I'm improving. Yeah, look at how much health we made it here this time with... Oh, shit. Okay. New, new, new territory. You get out of- Oh, come on! That was bullshit. He went way further forward than he should've. He went way further than he should've- Oh, and that's- You, you, you all saw that. That was some real bullshit. Oh, God damn it again! Keep accidentally grabbing the window and dragging it. I wish there was a, like a lock window option on windows. We could lock a window in a spot and make it so you couldn't drag it. Come on. There we go. Oh, this was terrible. Oh god, this is so hard. Oh, 
God damn it. It's that starting squid that's really the issue. Getting past it with- God, fucking, I keep going down into those spikes! Oh, just kill me now! Just kill me now! Cause I gotta go fast before it shoots its baby at me. God damn it. Getting past that thing without getting hit is so hard. Oh, why? I took two damage. No! I keep clicking out of the window and dragging it by accident when I'm trying to go up. This is upsetting. I remember why I got so angry last time. I'm already getting there. I'm already getting tilted. We only just started this recording session. Nitro, whether intentional or not, have created the most top tier of rage games. Okay. Oh, Jesus. No, stop. No, 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 let me free! Let me go! Oh. That royal pool just screwed me. Just kill your babies for a moment. God damn it. No! Ugh. When you get two damage on the spikes there, you're basically already- Yeah, I'm screwed, I'm screwed. I don't know how to get through that. Like, even if I was playing lethal, I have no fucking clue how to get by that squid without taking a hit. God, and the momentum when you fall in the water at the start keeps killing me. Because, like, I try and go through, and the momentum of, like, the splashdown kills me against the spike, so I can't start going immediately. You have to delay yourself, or else you get punished. Oh, God, it's so hard to go down that thing straight without damage. This is so hard. Oh, this game's so hard. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so hard. And again, even if I wasn't doing my self-imposed pacifist rule, like, I could definitely go through here without damage if I wasn't being a pacifist. Oh, shoot. Okay. But even without the pacifist rule, this, this level's hard. Oh, if I had one more hit, I'd be fine, I'm sure. But now, now it's like so tense. Come on! The whirlpool! The whirlpool! No, 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 no! Fucking, the momentum didn't carry. I took way more damage than I should have there. Oh, there's no way I'm gonna get this now! There's no way I'm gonna- this- again, even if I was trying to hurt things, there's no way I'd get this part without- like- Oh shit, oh shit. You're kidding me. Oh, I hate- I hate- Oh, life is pain! Oh, I took two hits there? Come on, bull. Bull. I should have only taken one there. Oh, shit. Oh, now I'm so screwed. I, I need at least three hits in this last section. There's no way I'm gonna get this. No! No! <laughs> this is painful. Why did I decide to come back to this and subject myself to more suffering? God, even with me trying my hardest to not take a hit there, I took it.
They were following me. Those things were following me. Oh my god. Oh my god, I got three health here. I can't fuck this up. I need to not fuck this up. Oh, I almost fucked it. This is the best I've ever done. No! What the fuck? No! 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 Why did he come Oh god. No, fucking three hits, three hits through that starting- You bit- okay, good, good, he died. I made it all the way through the spikes of damage and then that fucking starfish. Like, I have no idea how you're supposed to reduce the damage you're taking here. Because again, even if I was playing lethal, so many of these moments are like, uh, even if I could kill things, I wouldn't be getting, I wouldn't be taking less damage. Oh, come on. Curve around. Okay. Oof. Oh no. I'm dead. I'm doomed. This is just the w oh come on that momentum bit again. This is just the worst. This is just the worst. If there was just one health pickup somewhere through, I know I'd be able to do this. You know what I mean? If this game had health pickups, because I like. Uh, Slightly more health, and I know I would have been fine. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I only have two hearts right here. I'm fucked. There's no way I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna try, but I'm fucked. No, no, no. Fuck you! I'm fucked now. There's no way I'm gonna get this last segment. Oh, fuck that sp- If you nick those spikes, you're just fucked. That's- that's it. There's no- there's no recovery. Just end me. Just end me. Oh, come on. Two hits. I'm- okay. Okay, I'm at three hearts here. That's good. That's really good. That's really good. Getting this far with three hearts is fantastic. Now, getting through here without damage is kind of a crapshoot, honestly. Fuck me. There's so much luck and, like, precise timing. No, no, Jesus. Fuck, I wasn't ready yet. Shit, I'm fucked. I'm fucked! Dude, you get, like, you get pinned in that corner and can't exit it. It's like there's a magnet holding me there, and I know it's the whirlpool, but, like... Oh, I'll probably fit it in at the start of the next, uh, series rather than the end of this one. Yeah, I'll probably, like, if it's really short like that, the next one will begin with a tiny bit of Go UFO and then immediately drift into the next game. Okay. Oh, no, no, I'm so screwed. Okay. 
I meant to send a response on the Discord, but yeah, I guess I forgot to. Dude, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. halfway through to this being the last episode if I don't finish this mission. We're 15 minutes in. Oh, fuck me. Oh, uh, there's no way I'm gonna get it now. Simple as that. I didn't get through there with, uh, without a hit, so now there's no way I'm gonna have enough health for the end. Oh, gee. Fuck! <laughs> Dude! This is a nightmare, this mission. What, what I think makes it really hurt is, like, some of the other Nitrum games- Oh my god, this is fantastic. Some of the other Nitrum games, when I get through, I'm like, I'm like, oh, I was fucked because of glitchy bullshit, or like, they like, oh, or this thing didn't work right, or this or that. Oh, that's- fuck you! Why was I being pushed up still? I was out of the bubbles. Like, it's always, like, I'm able to attribute it to, like, something glitching. And that's not really the case with most of this game. Aside from getting stuck on the corner every now and again, which I think is more, like, a, a really easy issue to have happen in Flash, it's all my fault. I know if I just get fucking better, I'll be fine, fine, fine. Please, 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 please let this be the end. Oh no, oh god, there's a tongue boy. There's a tongueulus. <laughs> it's such a gauntlet! It's such a gauntlet! <laughs> really, like, knowing that if I was just better, I'd be fine? makes it hurt all the more, you know? This- this is a dead run. I, I lost- I'm with, I lost track of my mouse, there we go. There's a moth in my room and it's bugging me. It's the second to last, man. They gotta ramp in the difficulty somewhere. Can you imagine- God, Nitro would have been masters of the arcade. Like, they would be- they, they would earn arcades thousands of dollars. Man, so I've had this idea for a while that I don't understand why, game, why arcade companies don't do. Or your arcade game to a mobile phone and charge 25 cents a play. Just like the way it, works, it worked in arcades back in the day, just on mobile phone now. Like, it- it makes so much sense, I can't believe no one's done it. And no one's gonna get angry at it, it'll be like, oh, microtransaction, because it's gonna be like, oh, it's exactly- it, this is literally exactly how these games worked back in the day. So, like, who's gonna get super mad at it? Fuck me. No, oh, yo, Jesus. The moth keeps flying on my screen, and I get like I keep panicking, thinking it's an enemy. <laughs> Leave, moth! Stop this! It sets off my gamer instincts. It sets it sets off my gamer instincts and makes me want to scream racial slurs like a true gamer. Yeah, arcades do certainly have that. But you know, there's definitely people who would be okay with, like I said, with the uh, going to arcade. I'm not saying they should get rid of arcade machines. I'm just saying this feels like a, a smart thing for them to do. And then it, if it cut, what they could also do that would be really funny to capitalize on it a little more. Sell this little, these little, like, baubles that you put your phone, like, 
At the same time as they announced it, they also announced phone cases designed to look like the artwork that was on the side of arcade cabinets, and it's this whole gimmick of like, oh, bring the arcade to your pockets. And so they, you know, like, companies like Capcom, Konami, whoever the fuck chooses to do it, start selling, oh my god, uh, phone cases with the artwork from old arcade games. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Alright, that wasn't the right time. Oh, that's fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. No! The jellyfish aren't sunk in their movements in any way whatsoever, dude! Oh! There's definitely a pretty big fucking element of RNG to this. With things like, uh, what angle the starfish choose to shoot their things, and what- how the jellyfish are moving. I feel like the- the Krakens, though, I feel like they're just on a timer to release. Oh, I'm fucked. I'm- I only got two health. I'm fucked this run. Again, even if I was letting myself kill things, I don't see how I would be able to do this. Oh, fuck, I'm fucked, I'm fucked, I'm fucked. Two health. Yeah, I think so too, that's why I was so upset when I died on it. We got ten minutes, well, nine minutes, really, left in this episode. Will I beat this in nine minutes? Place your bets. I'm betting, I'm betting a thousand subscribers I can't. So if I can't, you guys have to get me a thousand subscribers. <laughs> but also, if I can, you should be super impressed. Do you know what that impress being impressed entails? Getting me a thousand subscribers. <laughs> okay. Man, I, I'm a lurker on the, uh, Nitrome Discord, because, like, I, I don't like posting in big discords, it makes me nervous, and every time I've, like, brought up the courage to, and almost everyone I've brought the courage to, I was immediately shat on by the people whenever I tried, like, interacting, like, by mods, and I was just like, oh, I'm it. Like, here, all except one, right? I will say the worst big server I ever commented on was uh, the Hearts of Iron Equestria War mod. I asked one question and I got dogpiled by mods fucking angry at me for asking the question. And I was like, it wasn't in your Q&A section. Like, it was, like, I didn't see anything. And I guess, like, it's because there was an argument relating to the thing I asked about a few years ago on the Reddit like two years prior, and it was a big thing in the community, but I was new to the community. I didn't know, and I had like every mod down my throat angry at me about it. And I was like, why? This is a My Little Pony thing. Why are you all such assholes? It's a children's show. You think the background music's too loud? Uh, I don't know if I have an easy way to turn it down. I think it's mostly just a thing of the Nitrum stuff is super... Uh, hang on, here's what I'll do. There we go. Yeah, I will say it does clip a little higher than, like, even when I play most other games. I think Nitrum just generally has some really cranked up audio on their stuff. But you know what server has been really friendly and welcoming to me and sort of has subtly encouraged me to post on it more. Well, two, actually. One is the Trax Discord, which makes sense, because Trax is a wonderful game. Check out my Trax series on the channel, where I can ta I take viewers, viewers' suggestions on uh, what to do. Um, but uh, the other Discord server that why people were not assholes to me on was the Doom server, Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal. They all were really nice people. And I love that. I love that, like, the, the cartoon horse show? Toxic fan base. Game literally about hell and demons? Super nice fellas. 
Like, it's weird the Doom fandom seems to just be a super wholesome fandom as far as I've always seen it. I, I fucking love that. That Doom is the kind of game to have generated a, a wonderful fandom. Oh god, I'm having such a hard time. There's no way I'm gonna do this. We have five more minutes. Oh no, that's it. This whirlpool sl pool slung shot me to my death. I mean, I gave it a fucking real fucking real go, you know? All right, right through here at three hearts. Okay. Ah, fuck. Yeah, I'm fucked, okay. Let's go again. I'm averaging about two tries a minute because of how fast I die every time. Oh, I almost made it through that section with only one hit. Oh, and I got two hits there. That's awful. Oh, I'm fucked. Oh, it's just so hard. Like my pee. Ah. God, come on, fuck, fuck, no, shit, fuck, okay. Uh, e oh, e oh. I hate this. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Alright, we're at three health, though. That's pretty good for this point. Here's the thing, I don't think I'm gonna do it. I think I need four hit points by the time I'm up on here to even have a chance. With that fucking tongue haul at the end. Why am I full on eating the squid? Uh, because I'm playing this pacifistically. Okay, I got fucked there. I want, I'm being non-violent, I'm not killing anything. Oh fuck, I'm fucked. And I have to go through that tunnel. And I can't fit underneath- the, I have to take a damage no matter what. So the goal is to go as fast as I can through it in order to maximize the use of the iframes. Fuck to make me immune to those guys. That's what this is all about is- Oh fuck, I hit those spikes, I'm screwed. Hey, it's- I've made it to the second to la the last level, non-violently. Alright. I've done pretty good. I've proven that this game is very- and I know this- so- this level is definitely possible, non-violent. If, if you are a better player than me, I'm positive you can do it, because I almost got to the end and got killed by, like, one of the last enemies. Fuck. Yeah, definitely not intended, but I've successfully done it quite well, I'd say. And I'd be super impressed if it- if any of you at home can fucking beat this entire game non-violent, I'll be super impressed. Uh, so if you send me a video of it, like, I'll... I'll give you a fuck- uh, I'll give you a shout-out, a whole video dedicated to shouting you out. Alright, 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 alright. Right. There's no way I'm gonna finish it in this run. I got stuck on the corner. Okay. Man, you know what's a game I recently tried to get into? Because I... So this is a game series I've always really wanted to get into, but I've never been able to. Is XCOM. Because I love everything about the XCOM games conceptually. But I feel like they're just too fucking mean sometimes. Like, I... I... Because, like, if I was losing troops due to mistakes I made that I could call out, I wouldn't be upset. But I'll have so many moments where I'll be fucking making all the right decisions. I'll be being an amazing general, I feel like. And then... What happens is, like... Out of nowhere, the game spawns in six high-level enemies and one of them mind controls my own unit into killing all my other guys. And I'm like, how was I supposed to plan for that? Ah. Uh... 
one more go. This will be the last run. That's not voting well. There's no way I'm gonna get it. I only got two hits here. There's no way I'm gonna get it. Careful, careful, careful. Careful, 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 careful. Okay. No, I got stuck on the corner. All right, 30 minute mark, entire thing spent on one level. That, I think that's where we call Aquanauts. Uh, honestly, I was kind of expecting that, not gonna lie. I didn't think I'd be able to finish th this game. But, you know what that means. Hang on. That means it is time to hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, in case uh, I got to the end, the wiki and the last level is literally called Kill the Serpent. Uh, well, you know, a non-violent run all the way to the last level is still viable, so that would have only had one enemy to kill. I could have done a, a you know, as far past the challenge as possible. The serpent would have been the only thing I'd have to take out. But yeah, it's now time for... It's place in the ranking, right? So there's a lot to consider. The game had a pretty high difficulty, but a lot of that was self-imposed. Uh, it was really minimal on the glitches. The only real glitch I experienced pretty commonly was getting stuck on a corner. And uh, honestly, I blame that more on the Flash service than the game developers. And so I think we actually have the game that dethrones Frostbite. Uh, so, hang on, let me just... I think this game dethrones Frostbite. I, I think this is 100% better than Frostbite. So we're just gonna quickly, hang on. Fade out all this. So, Frostbite, you are a delightful game. But the way I always put it was like, it felt, uh, whenever I described, talked about how much I loved it, I said, if the game was a little bigger, and that's generally the way I feel with all of the S games, if the game was a little bigger, it's a game I could see being a full, high quality game you would purchase. But it didn't feel big enough. This is the first one where I could 100%, if I spent like, 10 bucks on it on the DSi shop, I would not feel like I got cheated. Aquanauts is fantastic. And hang on, we're gonna... I'm gonna do something real quick. Because I realized I, I didn't set this up at all for me to be able to... Oops. Insert the new stuff, so we're gonna I'm just uh we're doing we're doing it live. We're doing it we're doing the new art to represent this game being great live. Hang on. I need to screenshot this this right here. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. Okay, I got a I got a screenshot. And now we're gonna go back to the art. <laughs> High quality content. So Aquanaut. Oh, I should have done a bigger screenshot than I did. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> High quality content. <laughs> I'm a professional. I came prepared, clearly. I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> I 
Alright, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. You think I should get the clouds in it? It's at the look. Oh, well, um, well, just removing the logo would be more effort than I really want to do right now, if I'm being honest. So we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna do that. Aquanaut. Aquanaut is the S-Class game. Because getting a clean version of that logo would require a lot of masking out the background and pulling it free and blah 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 blah. I'm, I'm sure somebody else has already done it if I look hard enough on like the wiki or something. Uh, you know what? Actually, yeah. I'm gonna quickly Google onto the go onto the Nitrum wiki and see if it's there. Nitrum wiki Aquanaut. <laughs> high quality, high quality content. Has somebody already masked out the logo for me? They have not. Oh, it's had mobile port though. That's neat. All right. Well. Anyway. There's the. Yeah, there's Aquanaut has the new uh, Star Game, the best of the best. So next time we're going to be doing uh, what was it called? UFO Go. Go Go UFO. We're going to be go doing Go Go UFO, and according to Saddlebag, that the, uh... <coughs> Excuse me. According to Saddlebag, that game is very short, so we may also hop into the one right after that at the same time. So, I look forward to seeing all of you next week for more Nitro. Here's our current rankings, with, uh, Frostbite having finally finally being dethroned as the best uh, Nitrum game. It held that ranking for quite some time. Like... Damn. But ye, I hope you've all enjoyed the run of Aquanauts. Next week we'll be moving on to UFO, uh, UFO Go and potentially even further. And yeah. Uh, end cards will be appearing any moment. At the top left will be the entire Nitrum series playlist. At the top right will be series editor Brian thinks you'll enjoy. Bottom left will be my most recent upload, and bottom right will be video recommended for you by the YouTube algorithm. Click one of those uh, to continue watching. Love y'all very, very much, and ta-ta for now.